Stop playing with them, Riot. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Good morning, Warhawks. I'm Pakia. And I'm Rajania. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face the flag, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Let's tune in to learn more about an upcoming holiday. Hey, Riverhawks. Did you know on March 31st is Cesar Chavez Day? It's a day celebrated in many parts of the United States to honor the legacy of Cesar Chavez, who made significant changes for workers across the country, especially farm workers. Let's dive deeper into his story. Cesar Chavez was born on March 31, 1927, in Yuma, Arizona. His family lost their farm during the Great Depression when he was just only 10 years old, and they became migrant workers. As he grew older, Chavez traveled across the Southwest, working in vineyards and fields. He left school after eighth grade to work full-time in the fields and continued his education through self-teaching. His experiences as a farmer worker inspired him to advocate for change. Chavez became the first person in three decades to successfully lead a union of farm workers. He fought for better wages, humane living conditions, respect, dignity, and other rights for farm workers. With the help of Dolores Hureta, he funded the National Farm Workers Association, which later became the United Farm Workers, and about two and a half million agricultural ben workers benefited from his efforts. Chavez used nonviolent actions such as boycotts and strikes to push for tar charge. Cesar Chavez Day is just one way we can honor his remarkable achievements and inspiring actions. Let's remember and celebrate the legacy of this great leader on March 31st and every day. Hey Riverhawks! This is just a reminder for those who are turning in their NJHS service hours form. The form is due on or before April 12, 2024 and students are required to have a minimum of 10 service hours signed. There is a required payment of $10 that must be turned in with your hours. The due date is coming up fast, so make sure to turn in your form as soon as possible. Let's watch this to learn about a special teacher here at Rio Norte. Miss Davis is amazing. Um, I'm just so blessed that I get to work with her at Rio. Uh, she's our department lead at, uh, for Team Kern, and she really does a great job of just taking care of us. She really, truly cares about her colleagues and also especially her students. Um, always trying to find ways to uh, help them succeed. She goes above and beyond um, just building those relationships with students and also with her colleagues. Um, I'm just so excited for her. She's truly deserving of Teacher of the Year. Um, and I just can't wait to keep working with her and learning from her. Thank you so much, Ms. Davis, for being an inspiration for all of us. Uh, I like Ms. Davis. I think she deserves the reward because she's very patient um, and she's very kind to like everyone. She has a very unique teaching style and I love that about her. Uh, Ms. Davis is a good teacher because she always um, makes sure we get good grades. <laughs> yeah. She always keeps us on track and um, she's honestly really fun and a nice teacher. I love that Miss Davis is really understanding and she like preps us for high school. Um, I love that Miss Davis is very calm and that she does not give much homework. Um, I love that Miss Davis keeps everyone in check and makes sure that they're doing their work. Uh, I love that Miss Davis really trains us for high school in a proper way and uh, just gives us the work that what we need to prepare for high school and just just focuses on the concepts just so we can get AIDS in high school, so I really like that about This is how she's funny in class. She just like likes to make jokes about like just what we're doing or like students and stuff. And also, she's very straight to the point. Gets us to her work and makes us finish it in time. That's what I really like about her. It's a award because she's a very kind teacher and she makes everybody feel safe. Miss Davis deserves this award because I learned so much from her and I love going to her class every day. We love you, Miss Davis.
In 2004, soda sales were banned on school campuses across the state. But after 20 years, will beverages like Coke, Sprite, and Dr. Pepper be returning to school vending machines? Check out NorteNews.org for the full story. Speaking of Norte News, let's hand it over to Article Spotlight. Hey, hey Rocks! Welcome back to Article Spotlight. Today, we will be covering 10 sea creatures you never knew existed by Bryce Bulmer. The ocean is a big and mysterious place and many new sea creatures are discovered every day. The species in this article include many different species such as the red-lipped batfish and the longhorned cowfish. If you want to see this and more, make sure to visit NorteNews.org. Now let's send it back to, to the, the studio. studio. Let's watch this week's question of the week. What's up, Riverhawks? We interviewed students about who they think is going to win March Madness. Let's see what they had to say. Who do you think is winning March Madness? USC. USC? The, do the Dodgers? Uh, yeah. How about Michigan? Michigan State? Michigan. UConn? UConn, uh, UConn. I'm going to say Tennessee just because my favorite teacher of all time, Miss Rippey, said it. So uh, shout out to Miss Rippey. You're the best. Who do you think is winning March Madness? Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Oh, Unk, unk. What's the question? UNC, 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 UNC. UNC. Uh, Tennessee because uh, my favorite teacher, M M M M Miss Rippy, chose them, and I shout out to Miss Rippy. Nope. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The Lakers. Lakers. <laughs> Akron. Arkansas. Purdue. Michael Jackson. <laughs> UNC. Alabama. 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 <laughs> Michigan, Michigan. I got Michigan. Yeah. Alabama. Okay, sir, I have a question. Are you going to put this in or are you going to cut it out? <laughs> Purdue. NC State. Who do you think? UConn. UConn? I think UNC. <laughs> I think Duke because um they're blue. I also think Duke because they have good players. Good players. I think the Dodgers because they're blue. And also they've been doing good for a lot of years. Yeah, yeah. It's Duke, Steph. it's Duke, it's Duke. Steph is the go. That, this is not Steph. NBA. Steph. Uh, I got North Carolina. North Carolina. Madness. I'm going to put my money on UNC, the University of North Carolina. Go Tar Heels. That's it for this week, Riverhawks. Now let's send it back to the studio. Now let's send it over to our principal, Mrs. Bennett, for her weekly message. Good morning, Riverhawks. Happy Friday. And more importantly, happy Friday before spring break. I know staff and students alike, we are all looking forward to 2.30 this afternoon when we all get a much needed break for the week. I hope no matter what you and your family are doing, even if it's simply just taking time to relax, and enjoy not being in school or having homework for the week. I hope it's a great week for you. And I hope that you're able to do something that you really enjoy while you're off, both staff and students alike. I hope also that everyone has had a great time with the Riverhawk Run yesterday, or those of you that went this morning, and good luck to those of you that will continue the next couple of classes. When we get back from spring break, I hope we all come back with an attitude to work hard and strong, striving for that success I talked about so that you can have a fun and wonderful end to the school year. All right, Riverhawks, have a great spring. Here's your daily dose of positivity. Make bold choices and make mistakes. It's all those things that add up to the person you become. Angelina Jolie. That's it for today. I'm Pakia. And I'm Rajanya. And, and we'll see you next time on Rio TV. TV.